Hello Saints. Our study today is a question I received and a very good question too because this one verse confuses so many people today. It causes contention within the body of Christ and ultimately creates false teaching and fuels the many denominations out there which we definitely don't need. So the question at hand is who are the elect in Matthew 24 verse 31 by rightly dividing and answering the who what where when how keeping things in context we can find the answer according to God's Word by the way my eight-part series the study series called hidden truth deals especially with how to rightly divide the uh, defining context context how the Bible is written, different dispensings of God's commands, and taking advantage of it. My hope is that you'll become master Bible students by the end of this series. So now, on to our question. Who are the elect in Matthew 24, 31? Matthew 24, 31 reads, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other now keeping things in context we need to look at the previous verses to learn more about what's going on over here so let's take a look at verses 28 through 30 and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you can have it on the screen 24 Matthew 24 verses 28 through 31 we're going to look at in 28 for wheresoever the carcass is there will the eagles be gathered together now we know from our previous studies in part 1 2 and 3 on Matthew 24 Matthew 13 the parable of the wheat and tares and also the parable of the dragnet we've seen the significance of the eagles the vultures okay and Jesus telling them that the wicked will be removed by the angels and brought to the vultures to be devoured and destroyed. So already we can determine from the context that this passage is speaking about the second coming. At the end of Daniel's week, or more commonly called the seven year period of testing, this passage is all about Jesus' return to the earth. Now in verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and then we have the question of the elect in the next verse in 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. We know from the other parables that the Lord will send angels out to gather the wicked, to be brought to their death and destruction. Here we also see that the Lord will send other angels to gather his elect from the four winds, which also mean the four corners, north, south, east, and west, meaning the entire globe. Now, many people believe that these are the church saints being gathered, but rightly dividing our Bible proves otherwise. We need to take a look at some scriptures in the Old Testament. There's passages in the Old Testament where God calls the whole nation of Israel his chosen, literally his elect. Also, there are prophecies in the Old Testament that speak about the end times. God would gather his chosen ones, his elect, specifically the believing remnant of Israel from all corners of the earth, from the four winds, to be with their Messiah at the second coming. To be ushered into the earthly kingdom the 1000 year reign 
also known as the millennial reign of Christ Jesus. Now in the book of Isaiah, chapter 27, verse 12, Isaiah records a prophecy concerning these elect who are gathered. And let's see, Isaiah 27, in Isaiah 27, 12 and 13, I, go, I went ahead and put it on the screen. Uh, we read, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt, and ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. And it shall come to pass in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown. Now remember from our previous studies, the angels go out to gather the unbelievers, and here we see some angels going to get the elect as well. And they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria and the outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount at Jerusalem. Now, in this passage, rightly divided and in context, God is promising to regather his scattered people of Israel around the globe. And he'll do that in conjunction with the blowing of a great trumpet. So let's look at the verse in question again. Matthew 24, 31. He shall send his angels with the sound of a great trumpet, and they shall gather the elect together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other and rightly dividing looking at some old testament parallels a prophecy from isaiah concerning this very time period it's clear that the elect here in matthew 24 31 are not the church saints but the people of israel who have been scattered throughout the world more specifically these are the faithful remnant of the Jews who've become believers during Daniel's 70th week making it through the great tribulation the last half of the seven years of trials and testing now the elect are still alive and they're waiting for Jesus to return waiting for Jesus to gather them immediately after the tribulation period he'll gather his faithful remnant of Jews from all over the world and bring them to the land of Israel with a great sound of the trumpet now, there's a second reason why this is referring to the elect of Israel and not to the church saints or the church elect. We see by the context in Matthew 24 that this is relating to the Jews and not to the body of Christ. Here, Jesus is speaking about an event, about the second coming. Specifically, he's telling them about a future tribulation, Daniel's 70th week, more so the great tribulation period. Now we look at, we can take a look at Matthew 24 uh, verses 15 through 20. And in looking at this, let's, let's read this here. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea here we can see that he's speaking to the Jews, all right? Flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house, neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes, and woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Now the Sabbath day also being another clue that he's speaking to the Jews here. Jesus is speaking to the Jews about the Jews. The whole context here is a Jewish context. So we see that the elect here are Jewish people. Jesus sends his, his holy angels to gather them from the four winds. The four winds mean the four directions of the globe. Again, north, south, east, west, the entire world. The rapture will happen when Jesus comes to get his people before trials and tribulations. The second coming, Jesus will send his angels to do the gathering instead. 
and establishes his earthly 1,000 year reign, the millennial reign. So, to answer our question, the elect in Matthew 24, 31, are Jews gathered at the second coming and not the body of Christ, or as some false teachings call it, the church elect. Now, I hope this information's, uh, information rightly divided answered your question, and I will see you on the next video.